In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring a Radius client. So what we've done here is we've come into our router machine, we've come into Server Manager. Next thing we'll do is we'll just launch up our routing and remote access. This will then launch up our routing and remote access admin tool. So what we want to do here is we now want to configure routing and remote access. So we'll come to LAN router, right click, and now we'll configure and enable routing and remote access. This is going to bring us into Wizard. So at the first point here, what we're going to do is we're going to select the next button. What we want is we want this to be VPN. So on the screen here, under remote access, we're going to go for dial up or VPN. So we'll select next. Let's say we want this to be VPN, so we'll select VPN and select next. Now what we want to do here is just specify a Ethernet adapter. So we'll go for Ethernet 2. And what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to clear the little tick box for enabling security on the select interface by setting up static packet filters. We're not going to use any of them. Then we'll select next. Now for the internal network selection, we're going to go for Ethernet. If we just go back a bit, so this was our VPN connection for Ethernet 2. And this one here is going to be our internal Ethernet network. So we'll select next. So for the IP address assignment here, what we're going to do is we're going to specify a range of IP addresses rather than from a DHCP server and select next. And now what we need to do here is just fill in our range. So what we'll do here is we'll just select new. And what we'll do is we'll fill out the table. What we'll select here is 172.16.0.100 through to 110. That gives us 11 addresses for our VPN clients. And we'll select OK. Then we'll select Next. And I'm managing our multiple remote access servers. What we'll do here is, yes, we do want to set this up to work with the Radius server. This is going to be our Radius client. So we'll select Next. Then we just need to fill out our table. So I've specified LON hyphen DC1 as our radius server, put in the shared secret. So next thing to do is select next and select finish. Just have a quick read through here, just says to support relaying of DHCP messages, we may require a DHCP relay agent. It's not a problem in this lab environment, so I'll select OK. And as you can see now, it's now starting up the routing and remote access service. So we've now set up this device as a Radius client that will communicate with our Radius server. As we can see now, all the information has just popped in. And that's the end of this demonstration of configuring a Radius client. Thank you.